welcome back to another episode of Seren Wanders Around This Stupid House, aka Scratches Episode 6. Okie dokie, so... Apparently, using hammer and all that stuff on that case wasn't a good idea. We're gonna pound away just a little more. I think we're supposed to actually use the knife. I think. No, actually, we did try that, didn't we? Okay, so we're going back to wandering around. I'm trying to remember things. I think we missed some stuff upstairs. And suddenly everything stops. Or my computer freezes. That's good. Good job. GG. Oh, wait, no. Oh. Why did it take forever to load? Okie dokie. Whatever the heck happened there. Anyway, we're going back upstairs. All the stairs. I'm gonna start the timer this time. <laughs> ah, I remembered. <laughs> we're making progress. Okay, so where'd we last? We didn't really explore too much of this room. I think. Seems a little slow. I wonder if it's doing this intentionally. Alright. Put the blueprints one more time. I think we have to see that there's a room. Or some junk. What's this one? Is there anything that's like out of the ordinary? Okay. The sad room once occupied by the servant. What the heck? It's not that sad. The kitchen, evidently. <laughs> oh, that's so evident. Thank you. God, this guy's a little snotty. It's like, obviously, evidently. <laughs> My lovely room. Yeah, you're excited about that one, jerk. Ooh, secret room. Wait, did he really say the long, uh, long lower hallway? I thought he said the long, longer hallway. <laughs> I can read English. Stairs. So we didn't see that. I had to find a way to get in that room. That's what we're gonna be doing. On the third floor. Common sense dictated that this was the same room I was standing in. <laughs> what a jerk! Jeez! All the rooms are in poor condition. Your attitude's in poor condition. There's freaking things flipping around and... Okay... Suddenly, random ladybug decides to start smacking into things near my head and making twink, twink, twink noise and making the lights freak out in real life. Not that it really matters to you guys, but, you know, wonderful freaky things. And fish mouth picture. Okay. These slow openings of doors are, like, kind of tripping me out. Stop it, bug! <laughs> okay. So... rope. We're gonna take this rope. Cutting the rope. Ugh, I have to choose a better spot to cut it at? I don't freaking know! It's a rope! How about there? Can you reach there? I don't even know where you can reach. Okay, that's a short piece, so we want to go over there and cut it? I don't you're so finicky. When did you become such a jerk? Really? There too? That's too short? How about over there? No? How about we stab ourselves? How about you stop being a whiny bitch? How about... Where the frick does it start? I can't see. Go up top. There, is that good enough for you? Thank you. Now we have to 
go get it because naturally you couldn't have held it with one hand. <sighs> Do I really have to take a step back to pick it up? <sighs> Come on, game. Seriously? Bend over. Okay, all the way up. Apparently we didn't look here before. And we missed that. Dirty, 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 a wheel can, blah, blah, blah. Can of paint. Okay, down the steps. Okay. Actually, where's my... No, I don't want that. I want the magnifying glass. Oh, tell me what that is. It's an oil can. Okay. That's great. Let's combine it, then. Wait, why didn't our lamp need to be oiled? We were whining before it needed oil. The fuck? Um. No? Man. Okay. So. Wait, is our lamp fine then? Okay. Alright, whatever. Let's get the heck out of here. Now if I remember right, I think we have to actually do some stupid stunt to get down the- God, that picture creeps me out. Get to that lower room from up here. I wonder if we go all the way up. What's this? It looks like I could grab something. I was all excited. <laughs> Way to dash my dreams, game. Ah! Ooh, I did something. It's raining. Now the rain doesn't look as good as when it did when I was looking at the window. Um, rope? Can we tie it to something? It would have been dangerous to tie the rope to the window. What do you tie it to then? Something else? This is the first time we've been able to open a dang window. How about you? How about that window? Nope. How about the ledge? I don't know. Does it look like I have a clue? Okay, bug. Knock it off over there. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. Why did you highlight it if it was so pointless? Mm. I don't see anything to tie it to. Uh, let's keep going up. I'll just leave the window open. Because, you know, that's... Spiff Diffy. How about you? Can I tie it to you? How about you? Can I open you? Let's open up all the windows! Why not? I just closed it. Da -da -da -da. Well, that did nothing. No. Fine. You know what? Let's take the rope. Or, no. You don't even care. Whatever. I'm dizzy. How about I tie the rope to the... that thing? Huh, MacGyver? Is this good for you? Oop! Oop, I did something! Look at that! Okay, then why did you let me tie it? And now will you let me take it off? Um. Uh. What do you want? Okay. Take. I don't know. You want me to cut it again? Oh. 
freaking A. So why did you let me tie it to that? Do you want me to tie it to the other one too? I can't even do that. Uh. No. Um. I don't even know what you want now, game. Sirs. Uh, we're taking them. Ah, no. I will figure this out. We'll figure out what he wants. Okay, so it's too risky. The frame would have torn the rope if I threw it out the window. A cloth, maybe? No, I didn't want to clean it. I was thinking something. <sighs> Light it on fire! That sounds like a great idea! I don't freaking have a clue. Hmm, think about this. Okay, so I was bad and I looked it up because apparently I wouldn't have thought of this. So there's this large crack and ugh, I have to use the hammer on it. Who would think of that? Who would be like, oh, well, it is too difficult to to have the rope go through that, so let's put it through the hole. Now what? Um, okay. Sure. Why the heck not? Can we see the rope from here? What did I grab? Oh, that's a rope. I can barely see this thing. Is I obsessed with getting that room or whatever occurred inside the house for that matter? Blah blah blah. Urge to go even though I was about to risk my life. Go then! Climbing down through the window was the only way to- Ah! 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 The fuck? Oh, <laughs> you're really gonna put me through this. <laughs> it does not want. I don't, I'm not even afraid of heights. I suddenly feel like I should push Danny to play this game. Go in there, 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 go in there. Oh god. Uh. Uh. Oh man, this is. Oh, does not like. Oh, this is epic, creepy music. Seriously. Oh, it's got creepy freaking things too. Ben, Ben, nah, Nep. God, I don't want to be in here, do I? Creepy wooden horse is creepy. Looks like she strangled that dog. I don't want to be in here, do I? I really, really don't want to be in here. Hey, the creepy music stopped. That's gotta be a good sign, right? Right? Birth certificate. Child's name. Scribbled E out. Apparently they had a kid. I wonder if the member of the family is still around and would perhaps be able to shed some light on the past history. Had to find some way of getting in touch with him. No. It's probably creepily dead or taunting things. Door drawer. Anything? Seriously, anything in this room I need to get. Tell me now because I really don't want to go through that creepy rope thing or that creepy music or what's that? Sure, whatever. Ugh, it looks like blood stain. I know it's just rust. It's fine. And those are creepy. Kara, this is probably what you grew up with. Creepy little cause in the sky. Yeah. And more creepy children. And the walls boarded up. 
So Mr. Blackwood apparently wanted to really forget this, huh? I would want to forget this room too. Get the wooden horse. Let's uh, get the frick out of here. If I miss something, I'm gonna freaking cry. Oh, here's some more blocks. Can we take anything? Nope. Just examine everything in this freakish room. Anything. Oh, we can look at that. But, uh, anything else? Anything else? Okay, 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 okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, please don't put me through this again. Just climb the floor. <sighs> Can I close this thing? Good. You know what? I'm gonna go close upstairs. Just because, you know, I'm a good person and I like to keep a clean house that I didn't set on fire. <sighs> well, that freaked me out. That was lovely. Huh. Um... Oh no. Look at all the stuff. I wonder if that had to do with anything. <sighs> My heart's going all doga doga. Oh. Over here. I'm trying to remember the room with the junk in it. Maybe it says something about creepy children. No, I guess this wasn't the room. I have no sense of direction. I'm still all freaked out of that stupid thing. I thought this was a room. Maybe the junk room was back here. Um. No? Oh, maybe up in the attic. I wonder what's creepier, attics or basements to people? It's gotta be basements. Attics are still pretty creepy too, though. Do you say anything, music box? No, I don't know. Thought my head something on it. Yeah, junk. Let's go read newspapers again. Look for anything worthwhile in the editions of May 1963 or anything back in August 61. Um, I don't remember the first one, so we're just gonna click that one. Uh, um, so yeah, that's not it. That was the other one. Let's look at 61. Uh, sad news hits our beloved town today following an announcement that was received with rejoicing amongst many that one of the most illustrious members of our community, Mr. James Blackwood, was having a child soon. We now have to relate a macabre turn of events. Ooh, macabre. What a nice word. The son that was being lovingly awaited by the Blackwood family died shortly after delivery due to a strange ailment. Understandably, the information disclosed about this happening was something something. Can't read it. It appears that Miss Catherine Blackwood was already suffering from pains in her stomach, probably an indication that there was something not healthy about her pregnancy. Dr. Christopher Milton, who... Hmm... Milton was mentioned before, anyway. Who attended the birth assured us that he made every possible effort to ensure a safe delivery, but with bowed head he said that the boy was already doomed ever since his conception. Oh, that's lovely. The cause of death has not been stated, but those few close to the Blackwood family have said that they were there were serious complications during delivery. Helping to relieve the somber news, Miss Blackwood was thankfully found to be out of danger. Her husband did not wish to comment about the event. Blah blah blah. Huge disappointment quickly gave way to an empty void feeling. Something wasn't right here. I began wondering if James Blackwood was somehow involved with the death of his son. Aw, blame everybody. Maybe he was a demon baby. Demon baby! Anyway. Since I actually kept track of time, we are going to 
get me out of here. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go back downstairs. Yeah, we'll go back downstairs. We actually have a normal ending time. Kudos to me. Okay, so thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out other videos. Watch me spin around this room while I talk. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Toodles!